Oh, I didn't realize I'd be triggered. What happened? What just happened? Drugs. Drugs is what happened, surely. What do you mean, Karen? Hey, how you going? Alice here, aka The Makeup Mechanic. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got some stuff. Oh, finally. I got this little guy. Little fire makeup. He looked right into my soul off the shelf and I was like, all right, you're coming home with me. But now it's kind of, kind of like a little bit creepy staring into your soul. Anyway. For today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to TikToks about Karens. Now, if you don't know what Karens are, they are the I need to speak to your manager type people. I feel like everybody knows what a Karen is anyway. I don't know if anyone knows how that genre of people has become Karen. I personally only know like two Karens. One's related to me and one's a primary school friend's mom and they're both lovely people. But it's really nice to have a generalized name that we can just put that genre of person under, you know? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, how I got inspired to do this video about reacting to Karen TikToks. <laughs> the other night, Jordy and I were just watching a documentary and it was probably about like seven or something like that. And we heard this knock on the door and we're just like, who the hell would be at our house right now? So I opened the door and it's, this, it's just this woman, probably about yay high, and she's just like, Ashley? And I was like, oh no, Alice. And she was like, Ashley, blah blah, said the last time. I'm like, no, my name is Alice. <laughs> she's like, that's really weird. They've given me this address. As if like I had the answer. I'm like, well, they've obviously given you the wrong address. Like there's no Ashley here. She's like, are you sure? I'm pretty sure. So normally if you go to the wrong house and someone says, no, you've got the wrong house. Generally you go, oh shit, sorry. I'm gonna get out of here real quick, right? No. She's like, okay, I need to sort this out. I'm just, I'm gonna give them a call. She's like, I'm meant to be looking after this girl tonight. I was like, okay. <laughs> and so she calls this number. She's like, hi Tim. Yes, it's Karen. <laughs> As soon as she says her name's Karen, <laughs> straight eye contact with Jordy in the kitchen like Karen. <laughs> Holy shit, this is real life Karen. <laughs> she proceeds to have the full conversation in front of me like, I'm at the house, I'm at 45 and you've given me the wrong dress. Ashley doesn't live here. Looks over at me like <laughs> And I'm still standing there at the door in my pajamas. Like, why is this my freaking problem now? She wouldn't let me go until the issue was resolved. And then she's like, oh, okay, I'll give them a call then. So she had to look up this other number. She brings out this like Panadol packet. She starts writing a phone number on. I'm like, do you need a hand? She's like, oh, do you have something I can write on? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Gives them a call. She's like, oh, just again, fully listening to this conversation. And then she just ends with, oh, 49. Grabs me, oh, 49. And leaves. You just wasted five minutes of my life because what, you didn't believe that I wasn't Ashley? <laughs> I shut the door and we're both just staring at each other like, what just happened? Randomly in the middle of our evening, a Karen shows up at our door. Oh, and so I was like, God damn, Karen, God damn. You've just inspired me to make a YouTube video reacting to Karen's. <laughs> Welcome to this video. This is what we're gonna jump into. I'm just gonna get straight into it because I feel like that was a long enough intro. Probably a lot of people have clicked off by now. So let's get into it. Do I just look up Karen? Hashtag Karen. Or maybe Karen's gone wild. That would be, that would probably be a bit more entertaining, wouldn't it? I'm just gonna take my phone case off because it's really embarrassing. I've got another one coming, but it's been like a month. Okay, Karen's gone wild. Again, disclaimer, I'm gonna like the ones that are good, that I have a decent reaction to, so I can go back and screen record. So when you see the heart, that's why I've liked it. Hello, Lindor, please. Hello. This guy looks illegal. I have a confidence that guy got Oh. He's trying to take pictures of me. He looks illegal. He looks illegal. I'm at Walmart. Of course you're at Walmart. There's a guy illegal. There's a guy illegal here. Look <laughs> at all the bushes at Walmart. He caught somebody for an outfit. What? Did he come get him? He's taking a picture of me. Hi. He's being weird. He's from Mexico. The other guy behind him might snap my neck. Do we live here? What? He's illegal, he belongs in Mexico. The address is Glendora Walker. Can you Google that before he moves out? <laughs> he looks illegal. First of all, if someone is driving a truck, you have to get license for that. You gotta have the right to work in the country and have a truck license. What do you mean he looks so That's just the most racist thing you could ever say. Oh, Karen, Karen at Walmart. I love the whole he's taking pictures of me. He's emerged from bushes and taking pictures of- No, he's just filming you being an idiot. It's just not illegal. When Karens get police involved because people get their phones out. <laughs> Karen! 
face. No, get I out don't of my face. Me. You hit me. You literally hit me. Pulled she out at the side of the there. road and you fucking hit me. Get out of my face. Leave me no, alone. No. The police are coming. Just get out I of my face. I don't care. You're not the oh, oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Yes, please. Like, uh, she's all in my face. She's wearing a shirt that says be kind. Get oh, out of here. Because he's telling me not to. I wouldn't be in his face if he wants to tell me not to. You think this is funny? Yeah, I do. Oh, hold on. I really hope you think this is funny. I do. All right. There's no problem. You're going to stand right here. Fight. You're going to stand right here. Good. All right. Good. I'm waiting for a pass. Oh, oh, my gosh. She's cool. definitely alive. You didn't see what happened, did you? I did not. No. That's fine. I did. I was right there. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> cut me off. You pulled right you out of the side. You were me off. All right, so you were not just parked right there. As Does I it matter? Down. I didn't hit you. Oh, oh, so she agrees. Okay, so she, she just acknowledged the fact that she was parked yes. and pulled out in front. Oh my god! Could you imagine just an angry old woman like that? <laughs> looks a bit like she's on drugs. Might not be. That's just an assumption. But she looks a little bit wired to be sober, if you know what I mean. In your face. I'm in his face because you told me not to be in his face. Well done. That's some good logic. Oh, I did. I realize I'd be triggered. I just kind of like put myself in their position and it's making me a little bit. How you going? I'm putting you on citizen's arrest Are right now. Are you serious now. for what? That's always a great start to a Karen video. I'm putting you under citizen's arrest. Because look how close you parked. Okay, I'll move my car. No, no, you're not moving your car. We're staying right here till the cops come. So Again I'm with the cops. Move my car no, no, now. you're staying right here. Stop filming me. <laughs> the cops are involved because you parked too close. Karen with the cops. Oh my god. No, no, what are you doing? Give me your phone. I'm gonna move my car right now. Get no. out of my car. Do you think you can park this close to my car and get away with it? There's literally room for you to walk. No, we're gonna stay right here until the cops come. You're kidding. I love how they think it's like illegal to film people as well. If I'm misbehaving in a way that someone feels the need to film me, I'll probably just stop what I was doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, I think I've seen this one before in another reaction. Calm down. It's okay, I'm sorry. He it's apologized. My, it's, my, it's, it's my fault. He apologized. Yeah, I know. It's and fine. you know what? It, that didn't upset me. But yeah. the bitch ass her. Sorry. That told I'm me just... to calm down. Calm down. What I'd like you to do is apologize instead of being a bitch. You're calling me sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. So oh, set, an, set an example. I'm sorry. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. <laughs> Those are the most psychotic eyes I've ever seen. It's okay, the kids are watching Kids Bop. <laughs> oh, I just, mm, why do people like this? How do you get to be a Karen, you know? What has gone wrong in your life that you feel like you can act like this towards other human beings? Oh God, man, I'm getting so worked up. <laughs> Stop it. No, are you not leaving? Get off my car. Get off her car. Oh, I'm so her mad car. someone's just touching Come my car out of Vega. Like, Krista, don't move up. You're sitting on her car. I'm not sitting on her car. I'm leaning on it. <laughs> Same thing. There's a booth box open right there. You really hate your life, don't you? To be hate No, I love life. my life and I have my brand new grandbaby in there who we're trying to take for a while. Okay, get your grandbaby then. Spots right here. Can you get off her car? Ma'am, there's Yes, you are. are. Come on. Two spots open. Get off her car. No. There is two this spots. Is your right, right spot. Now. Get off her car. Krista, this is your right spot. There's two spots! Just move! Get in your damn car! Stop getting, don't sit on her car! The audacity! Oh, I would be so <laughs> So, so mad. Oh, that would make me so mad. <sighs> to get that worked up over a parking spot that you're gonna get out of your car, sit on their car so they can't go anywhere. What do you mean, Karen? Oh, just, mm, even, mm, just someone just leaning on your, a random person being a bitch leaning on your car. Ooh, ooh. The fact that, like, the first second of this is her trying to grab her phone and then she sits on her car. Like, don't mess with people's property like that, especially over a parking spot. What do you mean, Karen? Triggered. Craziest Karen I've ever met. Supporting me now? Hey, internet! This man and his Doberman just attacked me and my Chihuahua. It's not a Doberman. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, help! He just bit me! No, he, he didn't. Help! Police! I'm gonna call the police! Help! I don't know if that's real, but if that is, that is fantastic. Oh, poor Karen and her little Chihuahua.
Now these have quite a lot of views, so I'm sure a lot of people have seen them. I haven't been on TikTok in ages. Literally the last time I went was from my last video. Oh, by the way, if you want to see me react to TikToks about gingers, click. I'm pretty sure it's that side. It's gonna be hilarious if it comes up over there, but click here. Hey, hey, yes. hey, okay, what? I'll call you back. Hey, I have seen you around this neighborhood too many times. This is ridiculous. Your, your car is insanely loud. No, 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 <laughs> no. There are children that live in this neighborhood. It's children live in every neighborhood. You know what? I'm calling the police. This is insane. Don't you even think about going anywhere. I'm calling right now. This is insane. You cannot just be driving this loud car in this neighborhood. Yeah, you oh, can. I'm calling right now. Don't you even think about going anywhere. Just drive. Please just drive off. Just, just boost it off. This is ridiculous. Boost it. Yeah. To drive a loud car, unless it's illegally modified, then yes. But I think that's Lamborghini logo, perhaps. Yeah, I'm gonna be driving that around everywhere if I had that car. Thank you very much, Karen. Goodbye. Just gonna edit this part in before I play this TikTok. There's a lot of swearing in this one. If that triggers you. <laughs> Give me the fuck off this goddamn fucking place! You wanna be shitty and bitchy to me? You will see me fucking pass. You will. that horrific in front of that many people. I love when people threaten people with the power of their siblings. You wanna fuck with the Marines? Probably not, but are they here, Karen? Is your brothers gonna come out of the bushes and attack? There's no way that you're gonna get your brothers involved in this. So what if they're snipers in the Marine? They're gonna snipe, are you threatening that your brothers are gonna kill them? Shoot them down for no reason other than the planes being held up? Mmm. We can see where your daddy lives. Boy, get over here. Look how short you are. My goodness. I know. Is it going to grow up anymore? Are you going to grow, grow up anymore? I don't know. How about you? Let's go. Move it out. I saw you breaking in over here. We didn't break in, actually. I was watching you. But did we break in? No, we get didn't. Get off at private property. Why are you like this? Like, move it on. Because you don't live here. You don't deserve to be up here. Get on. Let's go. How do you know I don't live here? You don't live in this f***ing house. Yeah. Move on, little boy. Why did you call me little boy? I have a name. Look how little you are. Little boy, get over here. Look how she's not even taller than her car door. You look like a midget right now calling somebody small. I'm aware that the truck is huge, but guaranteed she's like not that tall at all. Especially next to that beast of a truck. At least he's got the chance to grow a bit more, you know? Like, come on, Karen. Oh god, this one says Karen. This Karen. Complete twits. <laughs> You're twits. You're the one coming up to two young girls, getting They're mad girls. at them for yeah, picking yeah. berries. Like six years old. Six years old? Because we wanted to eat some berries. I'm saying, eat all the berries you want, just don't take the bush with you. I'm it's sorry, like is it affecting it's you personally? Of berries. Why don't you mind your own business? Why it's don't you mind your own sweet. business? You know, that is the fucking rudest thing you've said to me. You decided to okay, come up to us. where you came from if you wanted to use Oh, oh, why don't you go back to where you came from, you fucking colonizer? Touche. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. You don't call me a colonizer. You're a colonizer. You're well, European. Where most you like, yeah, where did you come from? Where did you come from? I'm actually curious. The U.S. U.S.? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so you're not Canadian, Canadian either? Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, so, but we are Canadian too. I was born here. I was born here too. Okay. Were you born here? No. <laughs> this is actually like I was born here and you're not even born like here and you're telling me to doesn't go matter. You're telling us to go back. Your parents weren't either. That's the thing. Oh Were your parents not even? Telling her to go back where they came from and she's not even from there herself. Why is mind your own business the rudest thing that they've said to her so far? It mustn't be that rude of a conversation. To get so offended by someone telling you to mind your own business. That's when you know that you're a Karen. Look at this sun moving. You can tell how long I've been filming for. I've had to filter through a lot of shitty TikToks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's getting kind of hard to find good ones. <laughs> Give me a Karen. Give me a Karen. Stop having children, okay? 
You're ignorant. Excuse me. I'm You're going to raise a bunch of ignorant children. I'm a journalist. What are you? You're a journalist, huh? Yeah. Look at what you've done. Your son is staying up here. <laughs> Listen, no talking. You want to talk back? You're eating on the bus. At least I can control I myself. At least I can control my myself. Obviously you can. Yeah, eat something that does stink. That's all I ask. So you are the day you don't sit there and think, oh no, Keep having kids. You'll still be diabetic. Keep eating that bag of shit. It's real good for you. It's another training. Stop doing please. What are you on? What am I on? Get off the drugs, I'm not on drugs. I am minding my business. I'm right in the bus. Okay, my fare. And you should eat on here. I agree that it sucks when people eat smelly food in an enclosed space on public transport. It's happened multiple times. In Sydney, would catch a train everywhere and someone would pull out something stank and yes, you're like, ah, you son of a bitch. But also, you have no idea what their day's been like. If they have to eat on public transport, obviously they haven't had time to do it elsewhere. If someone's gonna starve, I would rather someone eat something stank on public transport than starve, you know? There's nothing I hate more than being hungry. But to say stop having children because you're eating smelly food? Could you imagine how self-conscious you <laughs> You could nicely say, I understand you're hungry, but is there any way you just crack a window? Not, hey, stop having kids. That shit's gonna kill you. That's bad for you. <laughs> no one deserves to be told that they should stop having kids because of the food that they're eating. What do you mean, Karen? <laughs> Pardon me. There's been so many terrible TikToks that just aren't gonna make it on this video, but I've had to watch them. <laughs> Excuse me? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I just Holy oh, shit. Not take a picture of me. Not Get off me. my car. Did you not take a picture of I'm going to freaking slam your arm in. Okay. Get out. Did you take a picture of me. <laughs> Can you get your arm out of my car? Why are you here? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what the <laughs> <laughs> oh, She wasted. I will call my psycho dad on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, don't touch her! Yeah, don't, don't touch, touch my it. mirror! Just drive. Call 911. She's going that mirror too. Oh, hey! Hey! Where did you come from, Karen? And rip off their mirror! Oh, man. What happened? What just happened? Drugs. Drugs is what happened, surely. How terrifying. That would be so terrifying. <laughs> That'd definitely ruin your day, wouldn't it? Oh, I think I'm gonna end there. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine dealing with that, you know, like... <laughs> oh, even just the woman at my door, the literal Karen at my door the other night, I just didn't know what to do. But like, imagine an aggressive... That was just a Karen making her problem my problem and holding me up at night at my own house. But to have like an aggressive Karen come up to you, be in your face, damaging your car, calling the cops for no good reason. Oh, Karen, why? You just, you do have to wonder how people get to that point of just literally nothing better to do than making other people's days miserable. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's definitely all I can handle. I didn't realize I was going to get a little fireball in my chest about this. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the things behind me. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed looking at other things besides my face. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences with Karens yourself. I can't believe the woman at my door was actually called Karen. It still just cracks me up so <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, click on it, and then it goes blue. It's a good time. If you're new here and you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I also really appreciate that button. Thank you for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.